Good morning. It's a full moon. Here we go. First full moon of the year. Can you feel it? It's in Leo. Leo is our solar plexus. It's all about our power. It's all about the way in which we show up. It really can help you to really understand more about yourself, decide what really matters, and really work with that solar plexus energy. You know, as empaths, we store a lot of trauma, a lot of excess energy right here in the solar plexus. So really breathing through and moving every day, clearing it out so that you can stand strong. Leo is always represented by the lion, so it allows you to have the courage to really break through some of those old limited beliefs, things you may be telling yourself, things that you may be feeling when you get that overload of energy. But as you clear it out and as you really tune into you, it helps you find yourself and what it is that you want to express. Now the sun moved into Aquarius. Aquarius is about the collective. It's about getting out of the box, breaking free, disrupting the system even. We also had a huge transit with Pluto move from Capricorn into Aquarius. It's gonna be here till the fall, then it's gonna do a little dance back, and then it'll come back to Aquarius and stay for many years, like 20 years or something. I don't know, maybe longer. But this also disrupts the system. It really does. So it's allowing you to disrupt you. Get out of your way, change up your systems, let go. This is a time to let go of things that aren't really working for you. And it really is a time to really tune into your heart, tune into your power, what am I wanting to do? What is my dream? How do I want to live my life? What is that dream for my life? And we're in winter. Winter is all about going deep in our soul, working with our ancestors, talking to ourselves, and really understanding that deeper part of who we are. So as we move through the meditation today, we'll look some, at some cards too, answer some questions. We'll hold this vibration in the heart, move through the solar plexus, and really open up right? We're still in winter, we're dreaming, but it is a time to start really dreaming deep so that as spring comes, not too far away, in a little bit, we're about halfway, but not too far away, you'll know what you're planting. You'll know the actions you want to take. All right, so let's begin by tuning in. Have your journal with you. If you have your favorite crystals, put them with your journal. We really want to empower this energy right now. You know, we always talk about the whole height of the full moon. So we're in it right now. After tomorrow, the release begins. So we still want to go back to those new moon intentions that you set. And then what is working? What isn't working? And really reaffirm the ones that you want to bring forward. So find your journals. Take a few moments. Take a sip of your tea. And let's begin. Finding something to light. Calling in the element of fire. Activating this energy for you. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. See the fire. Let it spark your soul. See the air from the smoke coming in. The element of air. Cleansing the mind. Cleansing the space. Reminding you to pull your energy in. Calling in the element of water. I know during the full moon, the water, the emotions can be full. Let them flow. Just breathe through them. Let the element of water come in and cleanse them all the way down. Calling in the element of earth. Grounding, centering. Bringing that energy all the way through the solar plexus, then through the legs, feet. Connecting with Mother Earth. Taking a nice deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, just dropping right into your heart, right into the deepest part of your heart. Feel that connection of your spirit coming in, your spirit and the greater spirit. Bring all the energy right here, right now. Taking a moment and just noticing your energy, your connection to spirit, God, creator, being that co-creator of your life right here under this full moon energy. Taking another deep inhale as we call in the masters, the teachers, the archangels for joy and love. 
Calling in the crystal beings. Amusement, magnification. Calling in your higher self to align your energy to receive these messages for you. Taking another deep inhale and exhale. Calling in the energy of Reiki. Han Chin Se Shonin, Han Chin Se Shonin, Han Chin Se Shonin. Sending you energy. Opening the heart. Breathing into the heart. And exhaling right through that solar plexus, right through there. Telling yourself, I am right here. Right here with you. Inhale, breathing up the body. Then into the heart. And then exhale right through that solar plexus. And again, inhaling and exhaling. Feel the strength of your power. See the color yellow right there in the solar plexus, illuminating, matching that illumination of the moon. And now opening up the auric field as you take that next inhale. Inhale, let it expand all around you, front, side, back, opening the auric field, all of this light coming in. And now exhale, breathing all the way back in. Inhale again, expanding. Let that breath move through all the chakras, opening through the auric field. Exhale, pulling it back in. Inhale, expanding that breath. And exhale, just pulling it all the way back in. Coming back into the heart. Dropping into the heart. Feel the idea of courage. From this Leo energy, courage to make change, courage to step forward, courage to let go of old energy. Taking another deep inhale and exhale right through that solar plexus. And then taking a moment, coming into the heart, noticing this great wheel of life where you are right now. Here I am, we're in winter, we're those down under, it's a summer. We manifest the same, the moon is still full. And just noticing deep into your soul, right here in that deepest part, what do you want to create? Co-create with God, with spirit, with this full moon light coming in, all of the cosmic forces. And now take a moment and just writing in your journal, Things that you want to bring forward. Write it down. See it coming in. Opening up the breath with each one, feeling into how it feels. Each one. Have amusement. Opening the heart as you write each one, feeling how it is for you as this comes in. Trust, faith. You can manifest the cycle of energy under this full moon. Inhaling and exhaling, bringing all these intentions into the heart, right there in that deepest part. And just take a moment and just feel how you want to feel as this comes in for you. See yourself moving through these intentions, bringing it in. Right in the heart, feel that energy, see it, hear it, know it, believe it, trust it. I am the source through which all things flow gracefully, easily, with courage, with the power of my third chakra, standing strong, allowing, opening up, to that source of light that you are. 
breathing into the heart, expanding all of these intentions. Let it radiate all through you and then draw it back into the center as you exhale. Inhale, let the heart and the breath just merge. Exhale through the heart. Inhaling again. What does your heart have to say under this light? And now let's do that focusing through the solar plexus. Inhale and exhale. Inhaling right through that solar plexus. Long, slow, deep exhale. And again, inhale, one more, exhale right through that solar plexus. And then returning to the heart, opening the heart with all of these beautiful intentions. As we go to look at the cards under this full moon, opening the heart, feeling the power What we want to look at today is what are those messages? What is the clarity that can help come in for you to open the heart, to let go of all those limited beliefs of the ego? What can help you find that true frequency to manifest through your dreams and through these intentions? Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. So the first card that comes in is the nine of air. This is a great reminder. Get out of those limited beliefs. It's time to do away with all this chatter because look, it's blocking the messages of your soul, your guidance. It's keeping you up at night, churning and churning and churning. Cut it out. It's just creating more drama. Long, deep breaths will help you. Focusing on the longer exhale so that you can let go. Cut that energy. Let it go. Clearing away. And as you do, it is a time to surrender. Look at life with a different perspective. This is some of that Aquarius energy. Surrender. Trust your higher powers. You surrender. The energy of the crown opens up for your own divinity. But we have to get out of the mind, drop into the heart, spend some time upside down, spend some time with a different perspective. You know, in the Wild Unknown deck, they talk about like the bat energy, that radar. Look at life from a different perspective so that you can let go. Mother of Fire, she talks about the energy of standing in the activism of who you truly are. This is your truth. Stand in that truth. Be that inspiration. Stand up for what you believe in. Don't be afraid. This is not a time to play small. It's a time to open up to your gifts, open up to what you truly believe in. This is fire, soul, power, purpose. Let it come forward for you under the light of this full moon. And as you do, we have another fire card. Leo is fire. All right, this is as above, so below. Bring it in. Collaborate with purpose with those around you. Notice your community. Bring your gifts out into the world. It's time. It's time to bring them out and forward, standing up for who you are, looking at life with a different perspective, and that will help you let go of the old emotions, the old thoughts. This is more of the thoughts, the old thoughts, the limiting beliefs that are holding you back from your guidance, from your confidence. So often I see this, we get the hits, we get the intuition, nah, can't be. We get messages from our guides, no, I made it up. That just interferes. Trust. You have the power within you to bring in these messages, to have these conversations with your higher self, to find the keys within you all through surrender, especially during winter. It's not a time to push. 
It's a time to hang upside down, to know your dreams, to know your light, to really let go so that you can open up and stand in your truth as the spring comes forward so you know what seeds to plant, you know how to reach out to your community with your purpose. Be that channel as above, so below. Be that channel that just allows everything to flow through you. That I am presence of who you are. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. Coming back to the energy of what you've written down. Coming back into the heart, bringing all of these messages with you. Breathe. Align. Notice. Jot, a few down, jot down a few more intentions. I say you can write up to 10 each day. It's a Jan Spiller trick, tip. Feel the light of the moon all around us. Feel the strength of your manifesting right in the deepest part. That's where we co-create. Allow yourself to bring this energy forward. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhaling right through the solar plexus. I am right here co-creating my life. Feel the magic within you. Let it be magic. Radiate your life. Inhaling. And exhaling. Bringing this breath all the way down. Grounding with Mother Earth. Opening that first chakra. That's where the abundance comes in. Right through that first chakra from Mother Earth. Breathing back up into the first chakra. Exhaling back down. And again, up and down. So you know that connection. You know that feeling of abundance, of prosperity for you. Taking a moment, let's just tap these intentions right into the body, the eyebrows, cheeks, nose and chin, collarbone, get the thymus underneath the armpits. I am the creator. I am manifesting. I am the fountain through which all things flow. I am the co-creator of my life through my dreams, through my intentions. I am. I am light, love healthy, abundant. Right here at the Karate Chop, I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. Feel this activation of energy coming in for you right in the heart. Feel that presence. Take a moment of self-love, just crossing right and left, loving yourself. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love these intentions. Whatever you feel, say to yourself, I love you. I love you. I love you. Big squeeze. And then we just close with gratitude, lifting the vibration of energy. Gratitude for the beautiful cosmic forces, this full moon energy, for the ability to manifest your dreams. Gratitude for the spirit, the connection you have with the greater spirit. Gratitude for showing up for you. Inhaling. And exhaling all the way down, deep into the earth. Feel that connection with Mother Earth. Feel the strength of that solar plexus. Feel that yellow light. Feel the heart open. Focus the third eye to guide you. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open. Coming back. Allow this energy of gratitude to be with you all day. Happy full moon. Stay grounded to your spirit. Namaste.